Welcome. This video will guide you through the setting up of your TMN5000i for the first time. The standard package contains a TMOS PC Manager Quick User Guide, a TMN5000i unit, a programming cable, a power adapter, and a 3G antenna. There are a total of six locks. Start from the one on the top. To open the unit, use a flat screwdriver to pry open the casing. Insert a thin flat screwdriver from the side groove tilted slightly from the vertical. Pull the cover upwards and push the screwdriver inwards to disengage the lock. Repeat for the opposite lock and for the rest. Remove the front cover. The SIM card holder is underneath the printed circuit board. Prepare the SIM card with the gold contacts facing up and the notch facing inwards. Push the SIM card in until it clicks. You can connect your input device to any digital input. To check for the I.O. terminals, refer to the labels on the board. Or, the Appendix A of the User Guide. Use a flat screwdriver to loosen screw of terminal you want to connect to. Then, insert the hot wire of your device. Finally, tighten the screw. Connect the ground wire of your input device to the ground terminal and do this for the output device too. Locate the gold female antenna socket. Plug the antenna in and tighten it. Locate the RS-232 interface. Connect the programming cable to the RS-232. Connect the other end of the programming cable, DB9 female, to your PC. Locate the power jack.
Connect the AC-DC power adapter to the power jack. Then, switch on the power adapter. The power LED, which is the top one, should be lit. Check for 3G connection. That is when the network LED, the bottom one, blinks once every 4 seconds. To explain the configuration, here's a sample scenario. You're handling flood control and connect the water level sensor to the 5000 I's input, and the water pump to the 5000 I's output. Then, if the water level is high, you want to activate the water pump. Let's see how that's done. Run the TMOS PC Manager software on your PC to configure your TMN 5000 I. The link to download the TMOS PC Manager software can be found on the quick user guide provided. Click on the padlock icon. The default username and password are both admin, they are case sensitive. Go to Settings, User Manager. Click Add to add a new user. Enter user info. Go to Settings, Device Manager, then Add Device. Select 5000i. Enter the device info and SIM card info. Here is where you can enter the country code for the SIM card. Add the authorized users and tick the users' names. Configure I.O. Following our current example, float switch is connected to input 0 and you want an SMS when water level is high. Check the enable channel box. Switch message to UDM if you want your user defined message. Enter the channel name in UDM if UDM option was selected. Check the user box for that channel. For the same example, output 0 controls the pump and you want to switch the pump on when water level is high, and turn pump off after 1 minute. Check enable channel box. Select UDM option if you want a UDM. Check send when off if you want an SMS when switch is off. Enter the channel name in UDM if UDM option was selected. Select input 0 alarm for output equation. For output duration, select 1 minute. Check the user box for that channel. Remember to save settings. Under configuration, click direct wire configuration. Select the comport the 5000i is connected to, and select TMN 5000i. Click configure. We have successfully configured the 5000i. Thus, in the example scenario, when the water level is high, the 5000i will activate the water pump and send the SMS correspondingly. Done. Thanks for watching.